As we open our hearts to God, a reading from 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verses 16 through 18. When one turns to the Lord, the veil is removed, and all of us with unveiled faces, seeing the glory of the Lord as though reflected in a mirror, are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another. reading from Psalm 86, verse 11. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Give me an undivided heart to revere your name. Let us stand together as we sing, Be Thou My Vision.
A reading from John, the sixth chapter, verse 35. Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never be hungry, and whoever believes in me will never be thirsty. will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall, because it had been founded on rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a foolish man who built his house on sand. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell. And it was a great fall. from Hebrews 13. Keep your lives free from the love of money and be content with what you have. For he himself has said, I will never leave you or forsake you. So we can say with confidence, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What can anyone do to me?
A reading from the hundredth psalm. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into his presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that made us, and we are his. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him. Bless his name. For the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing, it is the gift of God, not the result of works, so that no one may boast, for we are what he has made us, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand, so that we may walk in them. Jesus' words to his disciples from John 9. 
We must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. Night is coming when no one can work. does the Lord require of you but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God.
Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me. He has sent me to bring good news to the oppressed, to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives and release to the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn. And I said, Here I am, send me. 